Hello everyone, this is Tony. <laughs> uh, the blind gardener. Today we are hiking on a South Cold Water Trail loop. We just started the trail. Huge stumps. <laughs> the elevation climb just started. You got some family here. Cousins. <laughs> almost almost fell. <laughs> and uh, I'll make a little video of this hike. We are going to try to do the loop. 11.5 miles. And we'll continue a little bit later. About one mile into the hike. We just got out of the little woody area and there's nice, nice meadows, lots of wildflowers here. <coughs> so we're continuing, so far no breaks. But the heart is pumping, pumping really good. Seems to be a really beautiful day for this hike. I'm gonna have to stand for a little bit and enjoy this beauty. It is just gorgeous. So beautiful. And these flowers, they smell so good. South Cold Water Trail on about second mile with a group of teenagers hiking. So the elevation still keeps on climbing. Some guys already taking a little break. They got almost to the top of the ridge. Whew. It's our first little break. Re really beautiful. Gorgeous. And I'm already drenching. Still climbing, and it's becoming really beautiful. So pretty, amazing. There's so many flowers here. It's first or second of August. And there's some berries. What kind of berries? And we started seeing lake. Well, we are still climbing up. Still quite a bit. We're not on the ridge yet. Elevation gain continued. Those 2,000 feet elevation. But it's getting a little bit easier. And it's so pretty. We are continuing climbing up. It's just, I don't have words. I don't have better words how to explain this. The smells of these wildflowers, so amazing. It is so fragrant. There is still some dew. It's about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. There's some berries. Kids enjoying. And there's some tired kids. We're gonna try, we're gonna try those berries. In a little bit, I think it's thumbleberries or salmon berries. Oh, could be. <sighs> They're black. They look black. You're kind of slowly getting out out of this woody area. There's patches of. Let me see this berry. Small and black. Oh, these look edible. 
They see their blackberries or raspberries. Sure I'm gonna give it a try. Good. Ah, so good. Seriously? Yeah. I just had that berry. It's so good. That's the whole fun of it. Have a little wild berry. So we got to this little break. And these logs were actually blown away by the eruption of Mount St. Helen. We're getting higher and higher to the top of the ridge. I keep on saying that, but we're still climbing up. It's kind of slow. Us kids. They found some something on there. Why? Yeah? Yeah. Where? Keep going. Victoria! You want some gummy bears? So nice. You survived? We are still climbing. We can see Mount St. Helen from here. And Crater. The views are getting better and better. Was that every few steps? It's amazing. These logs. All roots and logs, it was all cause of the eruption. Everything exploded and... Looks like we have a very beautiful sunny day. Another nice viewpoint of cold water. The water is blue. Doesn't seem like there's clouds in the sky. We're getting higher and higher. We still have about 600 feet of elevation gain. Whoa. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It is. Second or third of August. And the flowers, the wild flowers, just amazing. It's, they are everywhere. So these stumps, these are leftovers from trees and the lake starts and I'm going to turn off camera because I'm going to fall. <laughs> we finally reached the point where we can see this old machinery, tractor or whatever the logging equipment was used in 1980s. It's just, all this stuff was blown about one mile. That's at least what I heard. <laughs> and there is a, somewhere in the back over there, there's St. Helen. Sitting there quietly. We found a second tractor and a second machinery in here. My son told me there's bear tracks here. I'm not sure if those are bear or some other animals. I think I got stung by a bee. You'll be okay. The worst spot. Look, I got a piece of the tractor. Where? You're good. <laughs> it's actually, it's like pure metal, but look what the lava. Still climbing. I mean, already, already some snakes. It's a baseball. 
We are about 2.7 miles in, according to our device, our phone, and uh, the views are just stunning over here. Valley, and down there, there's a cold water lake, all those peaks. There's some lava rocks. We're taking a little break. Oh, another lava rock. Waiting for the rest of the family. Uh, what is it? I wish they made benches here. Be more nice. We are still climbing up. About a third mile. We found some uh, alpine strawberries. And Best thing ever. Kids are just in loving them. They taste so good. Can you find one for me? I want to taste it. Yeah. You got Daniel, look at this. Daniel, got one for dad. Look at There's some over there. The end, and that's the end. That's the best spot right there, I think. Daniel, can you find one me? Down to Anatoly, please. I'm getting almost to the highest peak on the south side of trail, South Coldwater Trail. I think it's about I think it's about here. So we have passed the highest elevation, I think so so far that I have noticed. 3940 feet. I love downhill. And there is a there's a valley here. <laughs> I felt it. And uh, you're gonna go around this valley. The, the trail goes around. Hopefully soon to the Ridge Camp Junction. And we'll continue from there. So we I can record, let me show you. First we found first salmon berries looks like they're oranges. Orange color. Side. You can record. It's recording. There's more on that side. <laughs> Orange. Taste. Looks really good. Mm -hmm. They're okay. Yeah. They kind of taste like medicine. First. <laughs> First salmon berries. Lana got a lot. I think some people yeah. might use these. You want some? Yeah. Blueberries? Yeah, they're wild blueberries. Most likely, are they huckleberries or blueberries? Some we something found, in the. Found wild blueberries. They are. Are you sure they're different? They're they're, they're like kind of, raspberries, but they're black. They look like blueberries, Natalie. They have. They, they, sometimes they, there's blue huckleberries too. Mm. I don't like one. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> Recording. Diversity of wildflowers, amazing, all colors, purple, red, white, blue, <laughs> salmon berries, they found some blueberries, wild blueberries, actually to the third huge piece of machinery, it's buried here in the bushes, lots of berries, different berries on the trail. And we're heading, getting close to the, to the junction. Basically, this is where the end of the South Coldwater Trail. And if you don't want to make a loop, you turn around here and you can go back. I would say it's a very good hike so far. It was a little bit steep in the beginning, but it only got better. So we finally reached the junction point here at the end of South Coldwater Trail and there's Lake Trail this way to the left and if we look to the right there's a boundary trail going up okay by the map it goes to the Rich Camp and that's where we're gonna head today and have a lunch over there 
and this way it's the way to go back this trail back to the trailhead but we're gonna continue our adventure to the ridge camp yes, and, we're gonna have lunch. and we're gonna have lunch over there oh, and then the like after nice there. lunch we're gonna head back and complete the loop We are still waiting for some of our family to catch up and while we do that um, we are just enjoying these wildflowers daisies I wish I knew all different names for different flowers but there is just fields of them berries, flowers and we are going to head towards a uh, rage camp. So we are heading to the rage camp, still climbing up. It's really greenery here. August. And we just missed that hog. August 3rd. We gotta pick this up. So greenery here on this side. Can't believe it's so much lush. Yes, it's going on YouTube. So we climbed up all the way to the ridge camp. We have passed. Ridge camp, and uh, we're probably gonna turn around and have lunch. We thought we we're gonna make it to the top of the peak over there, but it's kind of kind of goes sideways. The trail goes sideways, and not everybody's gonna make it. So we're gonna turn around and head back. Even though it's really, really beautiful, and I wish we could we could make it to the Snow Lake and other lakes, yeah. probably not for today. If we do multi-day backpacking, hiking, then yes. So we finally made back to the Rage Camp, and we on this little hill or saddle or whatever this is. It has really nice use. You should be able to see Coldwater Lake somewhere over there. I'm not exactly sure where it is, I don't see it. Hey guys, so we're back on the trail. Just eating up there. Really beautiful. Really cute. Whoa, basically good, nice looking flowers. I'm pretty sure that's a camping spot down there. So, yeah. Bye. So, we just had a lunch at the Rage camp, and we are heading back to the junction. Almost there, it's like a few feet away. So we made it to the willow section. It's kind of overgrown a little. Two miles down to the bridge. Hiking. 
Doesn't, doesn't seem to be that many bugs. August 3rd today. Continuing our hike down to the river or to the bridge. <laughs> oh, it's quite not easy with all these turns and rocks and roots. That's okay, almost there, we can hear. We are making it to the lake. Hey guys, so right now we're kind of hiking in the forest area. It's really beautiful, actually. We're almost at the lake. Maybe a bit more. Hey! My cousin. They're sometimes a bit weird, but... So yeah, we're getting a lot of bites in this forest area. Um, I don't know if you guys could hear, but there's like a little creek down there or something. So yeah. Wonderful hike. I don't know how much miles we got left. Maybe like seven, I think. But it's a really good hike. I would agree on that one. Kind of see down there that that creek is down there we might we, um, we might be we might be able to swim in there oh we're about to get a better view so let's walk up there oh it's kind of steep here whoa you could like kind of see it yeah so yeah we'll get back to you when we get to the creek Bye. We are, we are approaching bridge after about two miles. Yes. In the bushes, greenery, zigzags. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I'm so glad we made here to the bridge. Oh. Wow, look at that. Wow, it's like, it's like many waterfalls. So cool. Water down there. The, bri the bridge itself is actually Pashka, be careful. pretty safe. Yeah. Hope I don't drop this GoPro. It's really nice. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you can find some gold here. This is where we came out. So yeah. We're still heading to the lake. Uh, see you then. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see the waterfalls that good, but still pretty nice looking. Oh, how do you like this place so far? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll go here and then Yeah. So yeah. You like it, Victoria? So yeah. We'll get back to you guys a bit later. So we found this creek, hecka cool. We're about to walk across the creek. Everybody's scared to Wow, this is amazing, guys. So amazing. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. This is crazy, it's all the way down there. Can I put it under one? Yeah. This is awesome. We need to keep on going. Yeah, we're gonna keep on going. That is really cool, right Paul? 
Yeah, so that was really cool. Okay, we're actually sorry. So yeah, we're, we're sorry for keeping saying at no, the end of the videos, the see lake. you at the lake, but actually yeah, we're just like making small, small little clips. So sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah. We don't. We didn't even notice until now. Yeah. So. Our apologies. Bye. Okay. See you. We were hiking. We just found a swamp. Thought it would be cool to record. Now. First we thought. First we thought it was the lake. But I don't know if you guys could see it still. I could see it, but it's like over there, kind of ish. Yeah. We have to hike a little more. And I'm pretty sure we'll be there pretty soon. Yeah. See you guys right. there. So, yeah. You're doing your job. Okay, yeah, I'm bye. We are finally on the other side of the lake. Heading back. And we kind of passed swampy area where all the bogs are. And it's getting nicer and nicer again. Lots of wildflowers everywhere. We still have plenty of water. Snacks. We basically just kind of started the loop around the lake. So, yeah, hopefully we will make it to the finish. We can swim a bit later. Yeah, beautiful. Nice and sunny day today. So yeah, see you guys. So, we just took a, a little break we are all tired it's a really hot day and we're walking and we found the stream sure we cross it pretty easily nice little creek pretty cool so yeah you guys still have to filter it don't drink it's too fun yeah, I know. It was good water. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Same thing. Another ditch or creek during the winter. Yeah. This trees must be really, going down. really big. Maybe. This was. I'm surprised it got blown away by the um, Mount Saint Helens eruption. My dad's there up ahead. So, really nice sunny day. We're now in the in the tree area, kind of foresty, getting bug bites. But at least we can see the trail good. Like, really nice here. I would suggest one of this is the hardest. This is one of my hardest but most beautifulest hike probably ever done this is just beautiful just a beautiful look at that lake this is so nice such a good view of the lake it looks so good i just want to jump in so yeah Kind of making traffic. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep on recording. What? So yeah, see you. This little cliff, as you can see. So we're on this little cliff. It's actually pretty cool. There's logs in the water. I kind of want to do cliff jumping. I'm pretty sure you can. Oh, look at that bird. I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's looking for a fish probably in the water. But this would be a perfect place for cliff Maybe jumping. Maybe we could catch fish with our hands. Eh, probably, don't know. Yeah, but that would be a perfect spot for cliff jumping. So, 
Yeah. Well, sorry. And maybe that place too. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Probably a small creek in the winter. There's lots of creeks here, I noticed. Yeah. Even if they're dried up, that's still good. Yeah. Oh, I see them. I think I see them. Dad. Oh, my. So, since I asked you, Paul, uh, around like maybe 15 minutes ago, did you regret your answer? Um, for what? For liking this hike? No. I like it. I actually really like it. It's a nice and sunny day. And especially on when it's sunny, especially when it's sunny, when it's sunny, you could do like, make you could get in the pool, uh, I mean, the lake. It's a pretty big lake. I could say that. Sorry if it's kind of bumpy. There's these rocks here. Really beautiful, just like amazing. So, yeah, see you in a bit, guys. So, yeah, we're just back on the trail. You don't know why I'm recording, just kind of checking up. The lake, really nice view. No, seriously, it's really nice, actually. It's actually kind of clear. On the other side. We probably started maybe like, wow, we went like through all of that. That must be really That's hard. That's crazy. We went even farther because we saw we that. Probably even start, probably started oh, wow. way back there. Yeah, we started like over there. Somewhere. It's crazy. And then it's really nice. Oh, so far, so far we didn't get attacked by cougars or bears. <laughs> Thank God. But we did see. But we, we did see our tr tracks. Yeah, tracks and, and stuff. And we actually saw like. Keep walking. We saw deer. So yeah, this is my cousin that might be recording us at the lake. Nice place for you guys, and that's a good thing. She's a really good recorder. Yeah. Not a good vlogger. Well, she never record. She never recorded, but. She recorded sometimes. So she's actually. That's kind of good. cool. Yeah. There's berries again. Yeah, there's probably lots of places where like little chipmunks or raccoons could live. Yeah, from. I think we saw like two chipmunks today. No, like maybe like we saw the same one a couple of times. Yeah. It's crazy. It's so crazy. yeah, you should really come we started like over there probably. We hiked a lot, like a real lot. Yeah, it's like probably even more. Yeah, maybe. Until we make it to the end. Cause we took a longer way. We went up Ridge, um, Ridge Camp, and we ate lunch there, and then we came back down. And then our original plan was to just go around the the lake as a trail. Well, at but we yeah, we're having a good, to, great time with family back there. We have water prepared, and I'm gonna give you guys a little hint on these kind of hikes. You guys need to prepare with a, with a good hack back backpack, a light, nice and light one. This is my backpack right here. It's it's not like a pro backpack like my brother has. He has like a real backpacking one. So yeah, crazy. You guys need lots of gear. You guys need to make sure you guys get enough food. Something you can make the food on, like maybe a small electric light stove or a jet boil. We got all that, my dad brought. My dad's really a natural person. Well, our family, whole family basically is. This is not, this is not, if you, if you guys are thinking, this is my whole family. This is these, half of these people are my cousins, aunts and uncles. 
But that over there, if you guys see that person hiking, that's my dad. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. So yeah, see you. So, hiking, really tired. Really tired. Little swampy area. But I'm really tired, honestly. My aunt and my brother, they went way ahead of us. So now it's taking us forever to find a spot to swim because they went ahead of us apparently. Like we already saw some, with my cousin, we saw some pretty good yeah, spots. Yeah, we saw some good spots. But there's like a flat and there's shade. Yeah, flat, shade, there's a big dog to sit on. Yeah, like I mean like. Spot. It would be perfect, but yeah, they just don't want to have fun. They just want to speed to home. We're actually trying to have fun and enjoy the nature. So, yeah. See you guys in a bit. So it's almost four o'clock. We are still hiking. We sit down to have a little water break and a little snack. <laughs> and uh, I replace, put a new battery for my GoPro. We have left about one mile and we will back. We will be back at the cold water trail head where the dock is. That's where we might be swimming and parking lot and bathroom restroom thank you for watching guys we'll continue a bit later yes Stefan so we are just finishing this hike in these beautiful meadows Still lots of wildflowers everywhere. The sun is getting down. Got a little cool breeze. Got snacks, got water. Awesome. The mood is picking up. Because we almost at the end. On the last mile. Beautiful beaches. The water is kind of low this year. I guess that's because we didn't have that many rains. But it's definitely lower than last year. The very last steps on this hike. So we're finishing up the trail, our loop on the last half a mile or so, maybe less than half a mile. The trail is really wide here. And easy, easy going. 
I was just strolling here. So hey guys, we totally finished. We totally finished this hike. I'm not sure how many miles we clocked in. Just walking here to the parking lot. Easy and nice. So thank you for watching. Bye. God bless.